welcome back if you're new here for the very first time i'm your girl tmr and over here we talk reactions and reviews now sis what i want to do before we go any further i want to give you a chance to subscribe to the tmr family make sure you click the notification bell so therefore sis every time i drop a new video you will be the first one to know it hey you guys how you doing today thank you so much for clicking on this video so you guys are really quick we're gonna get right into it okay so i want to talk to y'all today about um carmen and corey you guys they are youtubers here on the platform um with well over three million subscribers they also have channels individually Carmen has a channel and Corey has a channel as well. Well, you guys, Corey is under fire with his subscribers for some comments that he made about a video he did a couple of days ago. So you guys, Corey did a video a couple of days ago um, professing his love to Carmen. So a lot of people found the video to be suspect because, you guys, Corey has a history of being um, unfaithful to his woman. Okay, so when they when people saw the video, they was like, um, okay, what Corey done did now? Oh, he must be cheating. So of course, you guys, people got to talking about the video, and they went to the Shade Room teens and was discussing the video. And over there, you guys, this is how all this controversy started. All right, you guys, so how it all started was with a comment that Corey made on the Shade Room teens. And there were people on there discussing the video. And a person said, beautiful, she need to leave him. And then the other person said, but she won't. She want to stick with him for the money. So then Corey chimes in and says, Carmen has more money than you and your whole family. Probably just by herself. Stop thinking she doesn't have her own money. She not black. She's Hispanic. She can do for her own. So of course, you guys, when he made that last part of that statement, everybody was in the uproar because they was like, okay, so what you mean? What you talking about? Uh, Cause she Hispanic and she not black. She got more money cause she Hispanic. Child. So I, even when I seen the comment, I was like, uh, so what is that supposed to mean? So of course you guys, Corey goes to his platform and he does an explanation video. Yeah, because of money. If, she, if, if Carmen wanted to break up with me and she wanted to leave because I hurt her or I would just dog her out, she would leave. She would not stay. She is self-made. You feel me? So that comment had everybody in the comments hate You know what I'm saying? Where money come from? Money came from because that comment I replied to said that she stand with me because of money. So that's how money was involved. All right? And I, and I had comment. I said, I said, and she is not black. She is Hispanic. Nine times out of ten, she gonna go out and grind for her own. She not gonna stay with no man for no money. We all know for a fact. So y'all don't have to get on the internet and act like they like y'all act like I'm just talking down on people. No, I'm speaking facts. We all know that it, it plenty of females that do this though. White females do it. Hispanic females do it. Uh, Asian. I'm pretty sure a lot of females do it. But I was simply talking about black people at the moment because I know for a fact. Black people does this. Like, I've seen it with my own eyes plenty of time. A lot of black women will be with a man because of money. And, not, and I didn't say all black women because there's plenty of black women that love a man for who they are. That's facts. And salute to you females because you females are considered real true queens. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about the ones who know for a fact that if a broke nigga came to you and a rich nigga came to you, both on black. Nine times out of ten, you go choose that rich nigga over that broke nigga. That broke nigga power will treat you like a queen out of this world. But just because that man with the money dressed up with money, he got a nice car and he got a nice house, he looked good, you go choose him. Why? Because he got money. So as you can see, Corey called himself trying to clean up what he said. He also admitted that what he said, he probably shouldn't have said it that way. He probably should have worded it differently. But my thought is, even if you worded it differently, you still meant the same thing that you said initially. Okay? So, um, so again, you guys, everybody started saying that Corey was colorist and racist based off these comments and that he was making um, in this chat room. And I'm going to be real honest with you. I understand Corey being upset because people feel like, Carmen is only with him for the money. Um, but then you also have to look at it in a woman's eyes that this woman 
that you say you love, you keep cheating on her and she keeps taking you back. So she keeps, you know, bowing down on her pride and her feelings and keep taking you back and then you repeat the behavior all over again. So some people would think, well, okay, well girl, what's, I mean, we get you love him, but what else is making you keep wanting to repeatedly take this man back after he repeatedly keeps disrespecting you by cheating on you? So y'all look, I, you know, I understand what Corey, somewhat of what he was trying to say. Again, he didn't say it the right way. But when you made um, a statement saying that because Hispanic women got a hu more hustle hand than a black woman, yeah, I mean, come on now. Like, Corey, you should know better than that. As being an influencer, then unfortunately, people are going to hold you at your word. Although they shouldn't, people have the right to have their thoughts and opinions no matter who they are, right? But because you are an influencer and then you are a black man and you made this statement about black women. Now, y'all, he did try to clean it up and say he didn't mean all black women. He just meant some black women. He basically was meaning the black women that be in the comment section talking all negatively. And But in my thought, although they're speaking negatively because you don't like what they're saying, it's just their thought and their opinion about what's going on. But those same negative black women are the ones who have supported your channel and got your channel to well over 3 million subscribers. Like, don't forget that part. Now, again, you guys, you can't always please everybody, you know. But I just really feel like when Corey kept making, you know, he kept saying the fact that because he's black, he can talk on black people. Yes, you can. But when you make statements as saying that black women are lazy and don't want to do anything and black women only want a man with money, I'm going to be real honest with you, child. I mean, I would think a white woman, a pink woman, a Hispanic woman, an Asian woman, I mean, of course you want to deal with somebody that has money. Yeah, you can't do nothing without any money, you know? So, I mean, I, I don't, you know, I don't know where he was going with that, you know? I mean... I would think, it, obviously, the, probably the women he has cheated with, um, I'm, I'm pretty sure they wasn't dirt broke poor, okay? So, y'all, he, he, you know, Corey had a lot to say in that video. It was probably like, I don't know, 15 minutes long. And he, it seemed like, y'all, the more he talked, it seemed like to me, the more he just kept digging himself further and further in a hole. I get that Corey is, he seems like a very, you know, opinionated person. And, and he has the right to be. He, he has the right to express himself the way he needs to express himself. But it just looked bad because you are a black man. And you're talking, you, you know, you're talking about black women the way that you are you know basically you were going after one person in the comment section but then you generalized it with um as you said some black women you know you got a lot of black women out here that are struggling that are single black mothers and they trying to hold it down but then you have people like him who make comments like that and then you have the world listening to somebody like him because he is a black man he is a man with a large platform and they're just thinking okay well if you're thinking that way and these are quote unquote your people then the people other people how are they supposed to perceive black women so of course you guys a lot of women um took to Corey's instagram because they had you know after he made that statement you, you know they had something to say and this one pacific woman said this you guys she was said i feel the way you said it sounds very much like self-hate there is a lot of black queens not itches that works a lot and trying to make a living but then you have people like you that will constantly tear us down, trying to make it seem like all the black queens and black people are lazy. You have a point. It is way more of a race in better living areas, but that started way before our time. And calling us lazy for it is really sad and just wrong. Don't you think we trying to get to where you are now? So then of course, Corey replies with respect. 
but I wasn't talking about all black women. I was specifically talking about the black girls or women that be on media always feeding into drama. The shade room cuts part of my live out and made it seem like I was speaking on all black women. That's what they did, but I respect every black queen that's self-made and really working their ass off. And on top of their shit, I would never just put someone down, LOL. Come on, y'all know me better than that. You know, you guys, that sounds all good, but again, he offended a lot of women. And I believe a lot of the women that he offended were women who support his channel, you know, who probably aren't self-made, who probably are single moms out here living paycheck to paycheck and just trying to make it. And because they're not self-made, then you're going to consider them being negative people. You know, you guys, um... It's always going to be controversy on social media. I mean, that's just how it is. And I just feel like because Corey is, you know, a large influencer, I just feel like he should have handled the situation a little better. Uh, of course, he let his anger get to the best of him. I can understand his position. I mean, because he has such a large platform on YouTube, on, uh, you know, other social media platforms, he has a lot of people coming to him saying a lot of things. I would think you guys at this point in Corey's career, he should be able to handle social media better than he handled this. I understand that's that was his point. That was his thought. But he said, you know, that was facts because he felt like he's a black man and he can speak on his people. Yes, you can. You can say what you want to say about your people, but then you took your time to speak negatively about black women Although you said some black women, but you, again, you weren't specific with what black women you were speaking about. You just said some black women. So which some black women are you talking about? Are you talking about the skinny ones, the short ones, the tall ones, the thick ones? The Like, which one were you talking about? So, of course, you guys, because he was in detail with what black woman he was speaking about or black women he was speaking about, then a lot of black women took offense to it. And... More than likely, some of those black women, the ones he said, you know, those self-made black women, they, they took offense to it too because you talking about their fellow sister. Y'all, you let me know what you think in the comments or how you felt about Carmen and Corey's situation. Tell me what you think about Corey and his statement. And tell me what you think about how Carmen has repeatedly taken Corey back after him cheating on her several times. Until the next time, I will see you guys in the next video. Remember you guys, sub what you love.